I write, um, mostly to untangle some thread, some ball of yarn in my head. Like, why? Why is this important to you? I guess that question really turns out to be, how do you feel? Do you feel okay? Do you feel okay? Which is really two questions. One is, do you feel okay? Like, are your feelings safe and okay? But the, but also, do you feel? Are you numb? Do you turn yourself off to deal with how shitty everything is? The most heartwarming and inspiring and honorable and joyous thing I see coming out of the student encampments is, you know, rooted, real, tangible, ecstatic hope. And people feeling together. And people feeling together changes everything forever. Forever. Let yourself watch yourself become who you are. Love that self, trust that self, let the apple The thing about flowers is that they're so generous and hopeful. They fill up my whole neighborhood with the most unbelievable colors. And then a windy day comes by and so many of them are brown and stuck to the ground in piles that feel a little bit more like a nuisance after all these dogs have walked past them. And kicked him into the sidewalk, but I, I still obsessed. And then, uh, and then other flowers bloom that we're gonna bloom just a couple days later. So that there's there's another beautiful you know reminder of resilience right in front of us. And then those trees, some of them I know not all of them have second and third blooms, but when I see those trees that I was so happy to watch, and then saw, you know, give away their flowers to a storm. It just makes me, like, that is, that is the antidote to scarcity threat that is constantly placed on all of us you know, people talk about our scarcity mindset and how it holds us back. And like, yeah, but it's because we're, on, we're under constant scarcity threat. 
that holds no chance against the spring and against the cool, brave, heartful people who are dedicating themselves and their times and their bodies and their energy to making a world that feels okay.